Today we're going to the Tikal Ruins. So we are deep in like one of the biggest rainforests in Central America. These are one of the most popular things to do in Guatemala and we are pumped. Absolutely psyched. Oh my word. <laughs> Look at its tail, it's so vertical. I absolutely love Tikal and I haven't even seen the temples yet. The nature is just that next level. You may be able to see just from the lighting that it's it's early. Rika and I decided to wake up as early as possible because we wanted the park all to ourselves. So it's only 6.15 a.m. currently. Park opens up at six and there is like nobody else here. Uh, you can see a few people trailing back from the sunrise tour, which we opted out of just because it's been so cloudy. And it looks like this morning was no different, so. Back in 700 AD, Tikal was actually a huge capital filled with 50 to 100,000 people. So this park is really big. Yeah, because it's this big, we don't really know where to start, honestly. And we haven't brought in a tour guide because we want to film it and it's just way easier to film with privacy. So we're just kind of starting at a random temple. There are nine of them and a bunch of different causeways, so. Walk straight into a spider web or a tarantula web. Apparently, there's tarantulas out here. Yeah. For a little bit of context, Tikal is located in the northern part of Guatemala, right next to Flores, right centered in between Belize and Mexico. So, we are deep in like one of the biggest rainforests in Central America. So, like, if we strayed off these designated tourist paths. I, I don't know, we, we could easily have hundreds of miles of forest to go before we found more civilization. Temple six is so close. Oh my word, I think I see it. It's on a hill. <laughs> I think it is the hill. <laughs> what the? The Mayans were, Apparently true architects, like that's that would not be easy to construct without without bulldozers and stuff. So this is what it would have looked like. And you can see down here there are nine different stele, I think they're called. And in front of each had its own altar where people would, I'm assuming, just give offerings and pray. Also, maybe you could notice from the videos, but we were the only ones there. Literally no one else. Oh man, what a start. What a, like an impressive start. It set the standard so high, but um, I mean, they're only gonna get bigger from here. This one's only 25 meters. The tallest one I think is 212 feet, which is like uh, 70 meters. So maybe triple this size. We just finished watching Indiana Jones and literally we feel like we're in the movie by being in Tequil. It's crazy. Let's hope we don't get movie trapped. <laughs> Honestly, I'd say there's a solid 10% chance that there's buried treasure around here. Look, it's a wild. These ruins are exceptional. Like you just walk through the forest and then they emerge these super tall, super big wonders. It's crazy. Oh my word. I just saw a mini temple and then all of a sudden through the clouds, you can see this huge temple. This is wild. One bittersweet thing about the Tikal Park is that we can't use our drone. It's prohibited. But the reasoning is really good. It's because they want to protect the orange-breasted falcon, which is endangered and lives here. It would literally probably attack our drone, maybe hurt itself. So honestly, it's for a really good reason, but we're sad because we can't use the drone. <laughs> Literally, they're still doing archeological work out here. If I'm not mistaken, there's still so much land that hasn't even been discovered yet. 
All right, so we're headed to temple number four now, and it's supposedly the highest temple, I think at 212 meters high, which is so tall, I can't wait to see it. You look cute. Thanks, I have a sweater halfway on for the <laughs> thumbnail, classic. <laughs> Maybe you can see there, there's definitely ruins under there, but it's just all overgrown with trees, it's crazy. All right, catch up to Rika. Here it is. All right, let's go, summon it. What? This is so cool. You can literally see the temples popping out of the trees. This is so epic. <laughs> So what normally people do is they climb Temple 4 and then just sit over there on the steps and just enjoy the view, which is exactly what we're gonna do. These seats feel like a stadium and we're like just watching a show right now. It's so cool. Now we are going to the Grand Plaza, which is surrounded by temples one and two. This is nuts! Wow, temple one is beautiful. It's literally the Instagram shot and the temple that everyone thinks of when they think Teagle. And it's probably gonna be our thumbnail. <laughs> All right, guys, let's summit Temple 2. So Tikal is the political and economic center of the Mayan Empire, and you can just feel its power right here when you see the grandeur of some of these temples. It's like, you have to have a lot of power to be able to construct something this big without like modern construction equipment. So it is really cool. Yeah, it's, it's a must see uh -huh. in Guatemala. It's, I mean, it's the most famous thing in the country for a reason. Literally, I just said, I wish we saw more animals and then a monkey appeared in the trees. So cool, he's eating the fruit off the trees and it's so interesting to see how long his legs are and how strong his tail is. His tail is like holding him up so he can eat the fruit. All right, we made it back to our hotel, the Tikal Inn, and if you come to Tikal, we recommend that you stay at least one night, and so we're gonna give you a quick tour of our cabin slash hotel so you can see what it would be like to stay here. So as you walk towards the cabin, the first thing you see is a beautiful porch area where you can sit and watch the nature, and if you're lucky, you might see some wildlife. All right, now we're gonna head inside. Quick, 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 the mosquitoes are gonna come in. Oh. So, sorry it's a little bit messy. We've kind of obviously already stayed here for one night, but we wanted to show you the rooms. We got two queen beds, and as you can see, we got mosquito nets, which are really useful. There's so many mosquitoes here because we're in the jungle. We also have a full length mirror, and we also have a private bathroom. The bathroom has all the essentials, a toilet, sink, and shower. The shower is super big and has hot water, which is really nice. All right, and that's it. It costs us $142 for a two night stay here, and for the price, this is pretty nice. All right, let's go get some food. Anyone else catch that rhyme there? <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Heladísimo. Muchas gracias. All right, our dinner was 210 quetzales or about $30. Gracias. <laughs> gracias. Let's go to the pool.
This is a great addition. Awesome, and that's where we're gonna end the video. Thank you for coming with us to Tikal. Yep, and make sure to subscribe if you're interested in following more of our journeys to 50 countries. Peace out, guys. Bye. Bye. What's going on over here? Literally, there's so many mosquitoes. And so if I keep moving, they're not gonna hit me at all. <laughs> Bring bug spray. <laughs> or just learn the mosquito dance. <laughs> and we're staying in B12, which is good because it's a vitamin, so we're staying healthy. Okay, I just wanted to give a few words of thanks to the Mayans that constructed this and all the hard work. Thank you, Mayans. Okay. <laughs> what a way with words you have. Oh, I know, they call me the, the poet of my generation. <laughs>